The 2019 vintage Cabernet Franc from Red Newt Cellars is one of our favorite expressions of this grape. It's a grape that is doing so well in the Finger Lakes. Uh, you've probably seen many versions of it around the lakes recently. This is our ode to a stainless steel iteration of it. Yeah, and what that gives us uh, an opportunity to do is really highlight some of the beautiful bright red fruit characteristics that come with Cabernet Franc, while still celebrating a little bit of like the savory herbalness that could come with it. Um, and it's really just for us, uh, you know, a little bit lighter body, really great with just a little bit of chill on it as well. Although it's certainly not lacking for tannic structure. As always, each vintage, uh, you know, provides its own challenges and rewards. Uh, 2019 was certainly no exception to that rule. Um, it was really quite uh, a cool year um, and a very, very cool growing season. Uh, I distinctly remember during harvest having on several more layers than I normally would at that point. Um, that of course says, uh, you know, the fruit came in um, really typically what it, it tends to, which is earlier uh, than a lot of the Rieslings do actually. Um, so there was no issue with, you know, ripening for the grapes and, and getting that real full flavor extraction. In some ways, this is our most old world uh, winemaking technique. This fruit comes in, we leave quite a bit of the stems intact, uh, we crush the fruit, we ferment it uh, in bins and hand punch it down, which is pretty typical for our reds. Uh, but after a, a maceration, after the fermentation, we actually run it through an old wooden basket press uh, that we really like using for our reds. The extraction we get from it is totally different than a more modern membrane press that we would use for our Riesling. Uh, the result is that the wine can be a little bit over the top tannin wise when it first goes to stainless steel, but that's key. Uh, in stainless steel, the wine softens quite a bit to bring out that fruit uh, that we love in this wine when it's in bottle. And if we went into the, if we went out of the press kind of at what we thought was the correct level of tannin, the resulting wine might be a little bit soft. This wine is uh, beautiful and fruity, but it actually has the backbone to stand up to food.